Welcome to Grumpy Man's Reviews. This, my friends, is the A10 GPS tracker for your car. They also do products for your watches, kids' bags. I will leave a link to the company in the description box below if you want to pick this up or if you do want to look at the other stuff, what they offer. I've been testing this for almost three weeks now. Let's take a closer look. Okay, you get a plain box. In the box, there is a micro USB charging cable as well which I didn't take out because I've got loads I'm sure many of you will do as well now at the back of the box there is a 10 digit number ID number there you will also have that at the back of the tracker make sure to keep that safe write it down somewhere because if you lose that the tracker is no use to you because you've got to put that in and then the default password is one two three four five six I do advise you change that that's how you could track the tracker okay the instruction manual a 10 user manual Everything is detailed in there. I just want to point out one thing to you. Yeah, at the back here, okay, you can download the app YI Tracker and make sure you do get the right one. I'll tell you why because there's two. If you can see here, there's YI Tracker, that's a normal one. That's this, that's what this works on. And then let me just get that in focus. Sorry, there's the YI Tracker too. Now, why I mentioned that is because when I first downloaded the YI Tracker app, I couldn't seem to get it working. So what I went ahead and did was I downloaded the YI Tracker 2, put the 10 digit code in, the password, it was working, but it kept saying offline, offline. So I was going back and forth to the manufacturers, back forth saying this problem, this problem. And I must admit they were very patient with me. So thank you very much. And they did reply back to every comment. Full disclosure, they did send this product out to me for this review so thank you but i would also like to thank you them for being very patient with me because I, at, at times i was thinking they're not gonna, not gonna even reply back now because you know with tedious little things all you're saying is offline this isn't working this isn't working downloaded the wi tracker app managed to get it up and running which i will show you in this video it's working fine this works on a credit based system so you don't need to pay an expensive monthly subscription as long as you have some credit where you could get GPS location on your system. You've got some data and you've got some credit as well. If you want the tracker to call you back, put some credit on like, I've got a gift card sim in, runs on the O2 network as you all know. What to do first is I inserted it into my phone first, made sure it's fully working. Then I put it into the tracker and it's working. My phone took the nano sim, the tracker takes the micro sim. I had to put that extra connector in. Put in there once I knew it's fully registered working the number and stuff uh, with the gift card. You don't need to register it with the tracker. Once you put in there, it's working. You can monitor the tracker from three devices. So you can go into the app store, monitor it from there. Android, I'm also monitoring it from there. And you can go onto the PC. Here it does say about APN. That may be for all the models because luckily I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to do any APN settings. No messing around with that with this tracker anyway, so pretty straightforward to use. So quick look around the tracker before I take you through to the um, upside of things. Nice, decent build quality. So here's your power on off button. So when you first on it, hold it for three seconds, turn it on, put it on charge first. They recommend eight hours, charge it for eight hours. To make sure it's off when you insert the SIM card and then turn it back on. Give it a few seconds to pick the GPS signal up. You've got your micro USB charging port there. Let me just cover that up. Nothing on that side. I think they, that's the speaker that. And on this side, you've got a little microphone there. So if you were to call the tracker number, the tracker will call you back and it will, you, you send it a command and then you could hear everything that's going on. At the back here, it's the 10 digit ID number. It's very important to keep that safe because I've changed my password, but if I hadn't and you'd seen that 10 digit number, you can track where I am. So you slide that open. That's where the SIM card would go. So you've got push to open and push to close. So let's close it because I've got the SIM card in. Okay. I turned it off by the way, because um, I'm gonna show you this. So if I just power it on now, you get a blue light symbol when it powers on. There you go, if you can see that. That's telling me now the tracker's on. Okay, so when you come to the app, YI Tracker, it says login by username or login by device. So click on that. And where it says server, you put this in here, where it says, you just put the en.gps18.com, where it says license plate, that's the 10 digit number. You can either find it at the back of the box or on the tracker. 
password by default it'll be one two three four five six and as you can see there that's saying google maps once you've inserted that information in okay let me pull over to my other phone now once you've inserted that information this is what you get presented with log out before that at the bottom here it's telling me on the 26th of 8 2019 332 event offline i turned it off alarm setting so if you push that enable alarm sound vibrations up when the car moves off it even gives you a vibration to say that yeah it's moved off report you click on that you pick the date and timing and it'll give you a report of where where it's been Let me just back out of that and then you've got your device messages now these are the messages that have been sent like look it's saying a10 offline it gives you the day and the time vibration alarm after device messages you've got your settings so you click on there this is where you can give it commands to do things like ring you back or send your message and stuff so you go to working mode you can get it tracked every one minute if you want. If you click on that, you could do 10 minutes or one hour. Now remember, if you do have it on a minute, it does take a lot of battery up from the tracker. So 10 minutes or maybe even an, an hour would be better. It'll consume less battery. It does say it lasts around three months. Now I haven't tested it that long. I can't confirm that, but it, uh, the battery is quite good on it. I've been testing it for three weeks and it's still showing around 80 some percent. You've got a charge it for eight hours i'm sure i've mentioned that before anyway let me cancel that and you've got your admin number so if you put that number in then you'd be the only number that can call this tracker then it's got the white list you can add up to five numbers in here which can call the tracker number voice monitoring put your number in here not the tracker number so if i were to put the mobile number of this phone that would send a command it'll say okay it go to the tracker then the tracker would call me back and i can listen to all the conversation that's going on in the car it's got your language and time zone of course i've selected english and then you've got your demolition alarm so if anyone does try to break the tracker it will send you a notification and i've left that on then you've got your vibration alarm which is pretty obvious leave that on displacement alarm that's on as well so if someone does move it it sends you alarm you could remotely shut down the tracker as well but you wouldn't want to do that device info if you were to click on that it would show you your 10 digit numbers and everything and you can even change your password from there so there we are at the top there after settings you've got your geofence settings so if you push that it load and you could pick an area from there now if you want it wider you just slide that across slide that down and then when the vehicle leaves that area you'll get an alarm sent to your phone a message will say the car's gone out of the geofence area if I, sorry if i take that back and you've got your historical route it saves up to three months of your routes so if you click on that it will tell you exactly where you've been in the last three months and then we come on to the real time tracking. I do apologize if you hear any cars passing by because I am parked at the side of the road to do this. Okay, so here's real time tracking. GPS showing you how much battery you've got left. Speed, obviously I'm not moving and the day time there as well. And it's, I've got it on tracking every minute at the moment. So it's refreshing every minute and it gives you an exact area of where you are. So if I pinch in, Look, it's got the street name and it's saying A10. If you work down here from the bottom, if you work from the left hand side, so if I were to push them two little things there, what that does is is drawn a line between my location and the car's location. So if I just pinch the screen in a bit, that you could see they're both right close by because the tracker is in the car that I'm in now. If I push the mobile one that will only give me the location of the mobile which is my location where i am and of course if i push the car one that will only give me the location of the car you could use the plus and minus buttons to zoom in and out as well and then the one at the top that one if you click that that gives you a bird's eye view like of the map so you could zoom in exactly right right close from there you, that, that's where i am and that is indeed where I'm parked. If you can see there, I'm parked on the side. As I mentioned, I'm parked on the side of the road. So it's all Greenland nearby and I'm just parked on a section of the road. And it's giving the street name as well. If I just get rid of that high bank lane I'm, I'm on. And at the top there it's saying Northcliffe Golf Club Shipley. That's near me where I am on real time tracking. There we go. And you can pinch out to get more of the area where you are. That's the upside of the things. There we are, my friends. That was the A10 GPS tracker for your car. Fantastic little product. My friends, as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.